So as you can see, I am at the end of the Steel Rain quest line. I am on the quest called The Catalyst. Just got done dealing with Dr. Blackburn. Now I have to deal with his research associates. I'm actually going to be taking Knight Shen's side uh, in this video. I'm going to be showing you all the different outcomes that we can get taking his side. And in another video, I'll show you the different outcomes we can get taking Paladin Romani's side. Some of you may be curious about this, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this now. By the way, if you do find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. As always, though, that's totally up to you. Just leaving a friendly reminder here before I get into all of these different outcomes with uh, taking Knight Shin's side once again. So yeah, let's talk to Dr. Farah. Once again, we just got done dealing with Dr. Blackburn. You've arrived. Please, hear me out. We are scientists. Our work is all we have to give to this broken world. We had truly hoped to give humanity a better way to fight back. Against the radiation, the mutants, the decay of civilization, we failed. But this doesn't have to be the end. There is so much good that we can still do, please. Spare us your wrath. Why does it sound like you're giving up? We weren't that far off, just a tweak here or there. Uh, if I may interrupt, I agree with everything Dr. Farha has to say. Despite how it looks, we are not evil people. We wish only to better humankind. Knowing that, what are your intentions with us? Alright, so let's just get straight into this. I'm just going to be making a decision now. Just because if I went over all of the dialogue options, all of the scientists have to say, plus Paladin Romani and Night Shin, I just feel like this video would just be way too long and not as entertaining. So I'm just going to get straight into making the decision. And once again, going with Night Shin's side. And what has your organization decided? Just to show you all the outcome over what happens, in case you guys are maybe having a tough time deciding, or you're just curious. Just genuinely curious. Actually, you know what, I still need to think about this. By all means. I'm just playing. Alright, so, yeah. Let's go with this option here. Night Shin is right. You should be executed. Is that truly how you feel? I trusted you. Please, spare my associates. I take full responsibility for their actions. There's no need. You're coming back to Fort Atlas with us. No. I won't stand for your coercion any longer. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. You are no paladin of the Brotherhood. You haven't been since you destroyed that transmitter. Your reign is over. The initiative's with me. Step aside and let us do what's necessary. I guess the Elder's grip is tighter than I can break after all. I tried to make you see reason. But after all this, you remain their lapdogs. The Brotherhood can't be changed after all. I will have to start anew elsewhere. Whew. Dude, Night Shin looks like he's about to tear Romani apart. Jeez. Anyways, first off, I'm going to be choosing the attack option here. And then I'm going to run through the Brotherhood of Steel story again and choose an option where we don't kill her too, but we still take Night Shin's side just to see the differences and what's all said. But yeah, starting off here, let's choose to attack her. You're a traitor. I had hoped it would never come to this. Alright, so immediately after taking her out, Night Shin says one more step for our mission. He doesn't seem to really care too much that we just killed Romani. At the moment, that is. We'll see how he feels back at Fort Atlas. Also, it seems that you can loot three stem packs and a hairbrush from Romani. I'm not exactly sure if this is randomized loot or this is set in stone loot that you get from her every time you kill her. But yeah, that's what I got from her for taking her out. Nothing too special whatsoever. Um, anyways, now let's go ahead and take on the next part of this mission. Let's go ahead and see what Night Shin has to say. If only she'd seen reason. Initiate. Carry out the sentence. Please! We are mere scientists! They're murderers. Make sure they can never kill again. So for those of you that don't know, the scientists were involved with experimenting on kidnapped people. But anyways, now we have some more choices. As you can see, we can choose to attack and say yes sir. Or we could choose to attack and say don't mind if I do. Or we can just say I'd prefer if you did this. I actually might try to do that on my other playthrough when I get through this again. But yeah, let's go ahead and just choose the one that says yes sir. Wait, kidding me. Please, 
done. Return to Fort Atlas. Then we can discuss everything that's happened. Okay, so now let's head back to Fort Atlas and see what all is said about this outcome. It pains me to say that Romani gave her life to defend these criminals. Her last act was not as a Brotherhood Paladin, but as a person following her own misguided moral principles. Romani put her personal morals above the cornerstone of duty time and time again. Her irresponsibility threatened to shake apart the foundation of order that allows us to be an effective force of action. But however misguided her decisions were, Romani always acted with the intent to help humanity. If we are to retain anything from her leadership, let it be that. The Brotherhood of Steel seeks to forge a lasting future. We must be humanity's strength. Strength to eliminate threats, overt and covert. Strength to keep dangerous technology safe. Strength to make the decisions that no one else wants to make. We are humanity's rock, standing against the harsh enemies of war, disease, and time. We must not falter. Ad victorium! There is one more thing to address before we disband. Initiates are the future of the Brotherhood. Induction into our order is an honor that should not be taken lightly. Among an initiate's most important responsibilities is to understand and commit themselves wholly to the principles of the order. I've come to understand that one initiate will never be able to meet this goal. They have other important responsibilities in Appalachia. I've decided to grant a title that can account for this caveat, while still acknowledging their exceptional contributions to the Brotherhood. Come, stand between Scribe Valdez and I. For outstanding contributions to the Brotherhood mission as an outside party, I hereby confer on you the permanent title of Knight Errant. A unique Brotherhood title with special privileges is an acknowledgement of the highest honor. May it serve as an inspiration for the rest of you. Dismissed. Alright, so we just got promoted to Knight, and we got two new optional choices here, which we're going to do, to check out what they have to say about the outcome that we just chose. So yeah, first off, let's talk to Scribe Valdez and see what she has to say. So, Paladin Romani is gone. I can't believe it. I wanted to be optimistic about their conflict, right up until the end. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like maybe this was inevitable. If only there was more I could have done. <laughs> we can choose to flirt after all of that? What? I'm gonna go with that option this time around, and then the next time I'll choose a different option to see what she says. Well, that's going a bit far, isn't it? But it's a very nice thing to say. Um, thank you. Yeah, I have to agree. That response did seem a little too far and, and just corny. But I just wanted to see how she react. Anyways, let's ask her, so what are you going to do now? I'm going to keep doing my job. With one officer down, there's going to be a lot of slack to pick up. There's still a lot more I'd like to see out there, but right now, I need to support the Brotherhood. Okay, so let's go to the next option here. How do you think the Brotherhood will fare with its new leader? I think it might start feeling a little more like back home, with the Elders. We're going to have a lot of work to do to make things safer in Appalachia. Without Paladin Romani to counter his priorities, Knight Shin will have a plan laid out in no time. Alright, so let's go ahead and say thanks for everything you've done. Don't mention it. As the resident scribe, it's my job to keep things functioning around here. Until next time. Anyways, that's all the dialogue options we have with Scribe Valdez after taking out Paladin Romani. Now let's go ahead and check out what the residents have to say. Starting off here with Russell. Did that really just happen? I knew things between the higher-ups were shaky, but to come to blows. Real, actual bullets? Paladin Romani. She was so passionate about our cause, I... I really believed her. It's going to be hard getting used to this. Yeah, he seems to be taking it pretty hard. Let's do this option here. This seems like more for Night Shin's side. It's for the better. Night Shin is going to pull this brotherhood back in line. Yeah, I know he will. And it's only right for a military organization 
Following protocol. Getting back in contact with the Elders. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about losing our spark. You know, Paladin Romani's commitment to helping people. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. See you around, Knight Aaron. Oh, what? We can only choose one option? Anyways, let's see what Houston has to say. Knight Aaron. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What, what are we gonna do? Who's gonna handle everything? Who's gonna lead the recruits? What am I gonna do? Gosh. Let's choose this first one here. Deep breaths, Tucson. Deep breaths. Okay. Okay, I think I'm all right. Congratulations. I don't do well with really big changes. I'm still a little like, shocked about what happened. For example, yeah. my boss dying. I think I'm just I think I need some time to process this. I'm going to sit down. Okay, so now let's see what Night Shin has to say before the quest ends. I trust the title change didn't come as too much of a surprise. It's an orthodox. But you're an exception I had to acknowledge to prevent confusion among the other initiates. Alright, so let's say good call. So does this mean I can't get promoted anymore? For the time being, yes. Though it's worth noting that this title doesn't have precedent. So if things were to change in the future, so could our definition. Huh, well, that's an interesting answer, so... Maybe? Um, anyways, so what's going to happen to the Brotherhood now? A lot of reorganization. As much as I'd like to start scouting for another transmitter today, things around here will fall apart if we don't fill the space Romani left first. How are you feeling about everything? I'm feeling like there's a lot of work to do. Right. You're probably asking about the emotional strain of Romani's... It is what it is. As a soldier, I have to stand up and move on. And I've already talked to everyone that I want to talk to, but let's just see what he says when we choose this one. Don't feel like it has to be the last time. The doors of Fort Atlas are open to you. Oh. oh okay, so he's super friendly with us. Still socialized. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and just complete the quest by saying, well, my business at Fort Atlas is done for now. I'm going to head out. Good work out there. The Brotherhood won't forget it. Ad Victorio. And as some of you know, we get the Hellcat power armor too, after completing this. I'm not going to get too much into this power armor, but yeah, it does look pretty sweet, and it has good stats. Anyways, now let's go ahead and see what the differences are when we let her live and run off instead of killing her. We're still going to be on Shin's side doing it this way. So, let's go with the option stating you don't have to do this. I have to follow my convictions. Stilted organization like the Brotherhood would never provide the outreach the world needs. We're not a charity. We're protectors. Sometimes we have to do things that are difficult in the best interest of everyone else. Carry out the sentence. I can't watch this. Farewell. Please. We are mere scientists. They're murderers. Make sure they can never kill again. Okay, so this time she lived and just ran off. And for this time around on these choices, let's go with the one where we don't attack. Let's see what he says about that. Let's go ahead and go with the option that says I'd prefer if you did this. You won't always get to be so weak of heart. But fine. I'll do it this time. Okay. No, not right kidding me. Please, spare the other. I'm hit. One more step for our mission. It's done. Return to Fort Atlas. Then we can discuss everything that's happened. Jeez, Nelly actually took a stab at him. He backed off and said, I'm hit. I'm hit. Not bad, okay. But yeah, he still ended up taking him out pretty swiftly. Anyways, now let's go ahead and regroup at Fort Atlas and see if there's any differences that are said here, especially during the dialogue where he's talking to everyone. Let's listen into this. Initiates and others, I have several announcements to make. First and foremost, the mutant threat has been removed at its source. This could not have been done without the exceptional service of everyone present. You may have noticed that Romani is not the one making this announcement. That is because her values and those of the Brotherhood can no longer be reconciled. Romani betrayed the Brotherhood code when she cut us off from the Elders. Today, her misconduct took the form of refusing to punish the criminals behind the mutant threat and the countless deaths it caused. She couldn't bear the weight of justice on her shoulders. 
and thus chose to walk her own path. In exile, Romani put her personal morals above the cornerstone of duty time and time again. Her irresponsibility threatened to shake apart the foundation of order that allows us to be an effective force of action. But however misguided her decisions were, Romani always acted with the intent to help humanity. If we are to retain anything from her leadership, let it be that. The Brotherhood of Steel seeks to forge a lasting future. We must be humanity's strength. Strength to eliminate threats, overt and covert. Strength to keep dangerous technologies safe. Strength to make the decisions that no one else wants to make. We are humanity's rock, standing against the harsh enemies of war, disease, and time. We must not falter. Ad victorium! Okay, so there were some differences with his speech. I'm gonna go ahead and play his speech again after we decided to attack Ramai now. Just for a quick comparison. It pains me to say that Romani gave her life to defend these criminals. Her last act was not as a Brotherhood Paladin, but as a person following her own misguided moral principles. Romani put her personal morals above the cornerstone of duty time and time again. Her irresponsibility threatened to shake apart the foundation of order that allows us to be an effective force of action. But however misguided her decisions were, Romani always acted with the intent to help humanity. If we are to retain anything from her leadership, let it be that. The Brotherhood of Steel seeks to forge a lasting future. We must be humanity's strength. Strength to eliminate threats, overt and covert. Strength to keep dangerous technologies safe. Strength to make the decisions that no one else wants to make. We are humanity's rock, standing against the harsh enemies of war, disease, and time. We must not falter. Ad victorium! So yeah, a few differences there. It's pretty cool to know that Bethesda did take the time to implement that. And as for Scribe Valdez, it didn't seem like she had anything too different to say with the outcome of letting Paladin Romani live, but still taking Night Shin's side. However, I did choose a different option instead of flirting with her this time. I went with the, it's unfortunate things turned out this way, and here's what she said about that. It is, but at least you and I are still here. Through everything we made it. That's something we can be grateful for. So don't be a stranger. You have the freedom to go anywhere, but remember, you're a part of our brotherhood now. You'll always have a home here. So yeah, though, other than that, nothing new. However, with the residents, it did seem like Russell acted differently. Night errant. Did that really just happen? I knew things between the higher-ups were shaky, but I didn't think one of them would actually leave. Especially not Paladin Romani. She was so passionate about our cause. I... I really believed in her. It's going to be hard getting used to this. That's the dialogue we get if we let her live and run off. And here's the dialogue that we got when we decided to attack her. Did that really just happen? I knew things between the higher-ups were shaky, but... To come to blows. Real, actual bullets? Paladin Romani. She was so passionate about our cause, I... I really believed her. It's going to be hard getting used to this. So yeah, definitely a difference there with this dialogue. Once again, it's just neat to point out those kind of things because they do take the time to implement them into the game. And a lot of players probably missed this because they went with a specific outcome and didn't get to exactly see what it would be like with another outcome or something. At least that's what I'm hoping. I hope you guys actually enjoy this and find something new and interesting within this. But anyways, as for the other resident that we could talk to, Houston, she had the same dialogue when we approached her. However, I did go with a different choice here and tried to ask her what's the matter, and here's what she says about that. I don't do well with really big changes. I think I'm just... I think I need some time to process this. I'm gonna sit down. But yeah, I guess that's how wrapping up this comprehensive video over siding with Night Shin for the ending of the Steel Rain DLC. Hopefully you all found this enjoyable. I'm out of here. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.